As an experienced Sage user, you may benefit from changing your current view to another option. I'm going to show you all three options available within your Sage 50 software. I will also show you how to change the view to your preferred option. As a default view, the customer and supplier area of the program have a process map. This is to help new and experienced users to navigate their way around the modules. The process map shows a diagram of the workflow associated with a particular navigation group. Each block on the process map represents functions available within your software. To access an area, just simply click on the appropriate icon. To change the other available view, select the Change View menu in your module and select from the other options. From the options available, you will see that there is a list view. As you become a more experienced Sage user, you can set the work area to display a list or ledger window. This view will show you a list of all the customer and supplier records information. For further information on how to set up your columns, please refer to the Customising the Look of Your Program blog. Within the Change View menu, there is also the Dashboards option. Dashboard windows are used in your software as a quick way of providing you with useful information in relation to the module you are currently working in. The information showing is up to the date at the time the dashboard was first displayed. If you have the window open for any length of time, you can click on the refresh icon to refresh it. The dashboards in different areas show different information. The company dashboard, for instance, shows trading highlights, financial highlights, bank balances, and a company overview. The customer dashboard provides you with your cash overview, age debt, today's diary events, and any promised payments. You can drill down on any graphs and charts to show the information which makes up those balances, right down to the record view. To maximise any of these categories, select the Maximise button in the top right hand corner of each category view. The nominal ledger, which is accessible through the company module, can be viewed in three different ways. Analyzer, List and Graph. The Analyzer option groups the nominal codes into the categories on the selected chart of accounts, which can then be drilled down. Values can also be shown for a particular month using the display option. This can be shown as a cumulative or just for that month, with an option to show the variance between the current and previous year. The list view shows all nominal codes and their current balances. The graph view shows the balances in a graphical format. They can then be drilled down by double-clicking on an area of the graph. You can control your main views for each module by going to Tools, Options and selecting the View tab. The initial view can be set for each user on the software. The Welcome page is your default screen which can be changed to display an area of the software each time you open the program. You can also choose from here how you want each of the modules to be displayed. By setting your screen in this default view to how you want it, cuts out having to change the view manually each time you start up the program. You can also use the Turn Off All Dashboards option. If this option is selected, you cannot select a dashboard for any of the above default view options. This works in a similar way to the Turn Off All Process Maps option and the Welcome Page option, where if selected, you cannot set them as the default above. Changing the view can be very helpful, 
as it makes it easier to see the information that you want to see. I hope you have found this very useful.